Welcome to FXB. Welcome again to my channel. So this is the 49 to 1 Balan. We've just we've got the actual ring from and the capacitors you can see from eBay. We've put it together in this box. We've got a lid for it. Soldered it up there. Connected it here to a 66 foot length of wire. Watch the rest of the video. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I've took the plunge and bought this for £16 and 160 delivery. It is a 49 to 1 Balan made by Super Yagi Antennas. So I've got the device here. I'll just quickly show you the photograph. And uh, you've got your capacitor here. This is, well, I'll show you how this connects when I fitted it. This one here with the larger ring goes to the center or to the basically the end fed wire. Um, and let's just quickly look down. He's got some instructions here. Um, so let's have a look here. The large, well, let's read the whole section. Genuine ferrite 140 mix. C wiring diagram on photo. Large eyelet is for the wire. Two small eyelets go to the ground on the back of your SO239. If you are fitting a counterpoise, then you can also connect to the back of your SO239 socket with a wire to your bolt on your box. The large ring goes to the wire. The two small rings go to your ground on the input SO239 socket. If you want you to add a ground to your plastic box, add a link to the same point. Also, the single wire and cap go to the center of the SO239 socket. So there you go. So let's do this. I bought myself some a box. Let's uh, let's give it a go. Let's quickly look at the pictures. There's the diagram that he talks about. There's him testing it as well. Nice tester. There you go. So let's give it a go. Here's the actual part. Here's the capacitor. The ring connector there and the main one for the for the wire is here. It's nice big ferrite ring, good quality I think. Uh, not that I'm an expert on ferrite rings. So I've dug out a length of wire that I've got here. It's gonna be 66 foot, just lying around from old antennas. I always keep those uh, cables um, much against my wife's permission. Um, so I've just got a patch lead here that's lying around. So what I'm thinking is that it'll go through, this is just a, a, you know, like a box from a hardware shop. It's not a proper ballon box, but you've got soft entry points here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them, but, and then it just screws on. I'll, I'll probably use some grease. On, anywhere where water can get in, I will, I will seal it. So you can see there's, there's holes there. So I'll seal that with grease or something, or some, um, maybe some universal sealant for bathrooms and sinks. Um, so yeah, it will go in here somehow, like so, and um, we'll have to sort of work out how we're going to do it. That might just poke out like that, and then I might seal it as it goes in. Um, so somehow we're going to get it into a box, get the ferrite ring protected into a box. And uh, the box is about five or four or five pound, and it does screw over on the top like that. So I'll come back to you when I've, I'll get it all assembled, then I'll show you exactly what I've done. So what we're thinking at the moment is we're going to put this coax through here, which has the PL259 at the other end here and connect here. And then that, we're going to poke it through there. It's like a soft rubber. We're going to poke it through and then bolt it um, to, the, to the wire because the wire already has a connector on the end of the wire. The other end of the wire has already has one of these that's quite handy so once that's bolted here somehow a couple of cable ties probably just to hold that down i'm thinking eventually and then yeah we're gonna have to fix it in a way where when this is being stretched that it doesn't get pulled so we'll think of a way of doing that as well right okay well we think we've got it sorted so the larger ring is here connected to the wire with a bolt then we've just used for now instead of a so239 we've soldered half a patch lead to these connectors here you've got the capacitor in between and the light the center feed is on the left here that's your earth now i think we can attach more earth if we want 
But anyway, so, um, and then it's just poking through the junction box there and there. Obviously, if you want it to be outside permanently, you've got to waterproof all the holes with, uh, oh, I would use bathroom sealant, I suppose, or you could use grease. Uh, eventually, when I finish testing, it will look like that with the wire sticking out. I'll probably make sense to connect something to your earth here that goes out so you can add a counterpoise if required, you know, which wouldn't be hard. You just poke it through there and uh, solder it to that ring. Right, now let's get it put up and then we're going to test it on our antenna analyzer. We're out here. Got a patch lead going to our zygu. It's going from there and it's going across to the tree and down to our zygu, which is here. Let's turn the filter off. So on 40 meters for now. Sounding very good. There we go, let's do a bit of tuning. Tuner on. Let's try it. Yeah, seems... It needs... It was a bit short, the cable. I've got to add a bit on. It's about 10 foot short, and that's why it's not tuning like it should. But I'll do that later. But it's still receiving great for now. The tuner does the work for now. Very pleased with that. Look at that. Sounding good. Let's just try tuning on 20. We're a bit, like I said, the antenna's a bit short. So what we're going to do is come back on a separate video when the antenna's measured to 66 foot correctly. And then we're going to get the antenna an analyzer on it then. So 7-3, thanks for watching, all the best. Please like and subscribe to my channel. So there it is, there's the ballon. Like so. Have a good look, see how I've done it. It's starting to rain now, but we're still going to test the antenna. Uh, so yeah, stretching across 20, uh, 66 foot all the way there. And my, I sort of soldered the extra bit on here. Soldered it on. If you can focus, uh, it's quite hard to focus, but anyway, soldered there and then just connected to the end there. Just going to quickly put the zygu on before it starts really pouring down with rain, and the zygu is going to be here. Okay, we're here. Not loads of activity straight away, but it's kind of it looks a bit flat, doesn't it? It's going to rain soon. There's a station call in there. Should we go back? 5 watts. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo QRP. As you can see, it's tuning really well. A lot of strong signals there. By the way, Mill call signs my 
Mike India here. Mexico, Oscar Delta, MI here of Ministry of Defense. So anytime you hear me, please don't hesitate. Give me a call. 73, stay safe and have a nice weekend. It's starting to rain here. Yeah? <laughs> I need to put this away. But yeah, it seems to be working fine. It's tuning good on uh, 40. Just a quick tune, hardly anything. So it's working fine, happy with that. 7-3, all the best. Right, we're on a 66 foot length of wire, which I will show you. And these are the low points that you get with a 49 to 1 ballon. So lots of low points here. 27, 34, it goes up there, let's go back. 20, 14, and the one I use the most is 7. So yeah, it's about what I'm expecting for this one. I'll just show you the antenna.